A target aid investigation three years ago into the death of a Muskegon County Jail inmate led to criminal charges against four guards. Now we're learning the family of Paul Bolthouse will have to wait a little bit longer for justice. Target aid investigator Ken Kolker has the latest in this case, all new at 7. It's been nearly a year and a half since the jail guards were charged in the death and still no trial date. Court officials now say the separate trials for the four guards won't start until next year in front of a new judge because Circuit Judge William Marietti, who's been overseeing the case, is retiring. The guards are charged with involuntary manslaughter in the April 2019 death of inmate 39-year-old Paul Bolthouse. The maximum penalty is 15 years in prison. Bolthouse was locked up on a probation violation. The Attorney General's office opened the investigation after Target Aid obtained surveillance video showing Bolthouse had suffered repeated seizures in a close observation cell without getting medical help. COVID led to some of the courtroom delays even as defense attorneys fought behind the scenes to dismiss the cases. Defense attorneys argued that the jail's private medical providers were to blame, not the guards. Well, Pat, the deputies are not trained medical professionals. The jail contracts with a third party individual's well path at that point in time to provide guidance and assistance to those deputies in making decisions about people's health. And those deputies relied on those well path employees in making those decisions. But the judge recently disagreed, finding evidence that the guards either witnessed or were in a position to witness seizures and did nothing to help. In one case, the judge wrote, Video shows one of the deputies looking into the cell as Bolthouse suffered a seizure. Still, no medical help. What doesn't come out and will come out is that Deputy Patterson then goes and goes into medical and talks to one of the well path nurses at that point and then returns back to his duties. The judge recently ruled on other defense requests, including this. Prosecutors will not be able to call Bolthouse a victim since the defense is arguing that a crime was never committed. The death led to out-of-court settlements for Balthouse's family, $2.4 million from the county and an undisclosed amount from the medical provider, Wellpath. The four guards remain free on bond and continue to work here at the Muskegon County Jail. In Muskegon, I'm Target Aid Investigator Ken Colbert.